Let's find out if a pen display is better to work with than a pen tablet without a screen, or if a mouse is still a better choice for 3D art. After watching this video you'll find out which one you need, or if you need one at all. Huian sent me a pen display and a pen tablet. I've been using them for a month, so here's my review. But before that, let's see what did I get. I got a Huiyang Canvas 22 Plus. In the package you get the basic things you need, a battery free pen, a pen holder, wait a minute, there are extra nibs and a nib remover inside it. Then you get a glove, a cleaning cloth, all the necessary cables and an adjustable stand, screwdriver included, but screws aren't. Nah, just kidding. Since the display doesn't have any buttons, I received a key dial mini controller. In the box you get some stickers and a cable. Speaking of getting things, if you wanna get valuable tips about Blender, 3D news or discount codes of my products, then subscribe to my newsletter below and you will receive aesthetic wallpapers for free as a welcome gift. They also sent me an Inspiroid key dial tablet, which has half of the keyboard built into it. Kinda cool. This is a wireless tablet, so in the box, besides the pen and the holder, you get a USB cable for charging and a Bluetooth receiver, but you can use it wired as well. On the keyboard there's this dial which I set to zoom in and out, but it can change the brush size or it can be used for scrolling too. It has 5 programmable keys on top. And one thing to mention is the numeric switch. If you press it you can use numbers and different characters. So it's freely packed with keys but you know for Blender it's not enough. After you plugged in all the cables and installed the driver, the devices are ready to use. I never had any kind of tablet before, so when I tried them out for the first time it felt like magic. Hitting the like button feels like magic too. Working on the pen display is a whole other experience than working with a mouse. It feels like you are more connected to your work, you are literally touching it. It makes me feel like a true artist, not a clickety clackety nerd, even when I'm adjusting boring numbers. Working with the pen I believe is the closest thing to using a magic wand. especially with Pi menu switches and node noodling. Using the pen tablet is a bit different, it takes some getting used to. The feeling is similar to using a mouse, but on top it has this cool wand-like feeling. I tried out Grease Pencil with both of them, as well as Krita, it's awesome. Drawing on the pen display feels like drawing with a sharpie on a paper. The pen tablet is a bit more rough, which feels good too. The pen pressure is perfect right out of the box, but you can change anything in the Huiyan software, including what the buttons should do. For Blender I set the first button to middle mouse and the second one to right click. Different presets can be applied to different softwares. You can set the working area manually, as well as applying a switch screen shortcut to the pen, which allows you to switch your mouse cursor to your second screen. After using them for a month, I realized they aren't for me specifically, but maybe they are for you, because it really depends on what kind of artworks you make. My art style doesn't really benefit from using a pen, because I don't use grease pencil, I don't sculpt either, so just for modeling I don't recommend it, because it's not made for modeling. It slows me down and gives me unnecessary back pain. So one thing to mention about me is I like to work fast, like lightning fast, so I use shortcuts and accelerator keys, but the controller cannot provide enough keys for Blender, and using a keyboard is uncomfortable. At least I haven't found an option optimal placement for it. Another thing is that my hand covers drop down menus. I tried to search for a left drop down hack, but I just found the feature request for the exact same reason. A small annoying thing is when you try to drag a value near the right side, you have to put back the pen again and again. The biggest downside of the pen tablet is that the pen is not directly touching the artwork, and I really miss the G key for moving the objects, I need that more than the enter. So, should you get one? I recommend investing in these devices if you wanna get into drawing with grease pencil, sculpting or texture painting, because it makes the work so much enjoyable and you can leverage the power of pressure sensitivity, but if you mostly do modeling like me, I don't think you should buy one. Which one is for you? Here are three things to consider. First, the price. It's really intuitive to work on a pen display. You can feel your art, you can use it as a second monitor, and if I had to choose between them, I would choose working on the pen display. But is it really worth buying an expensive display? Honestly, no. It won't make you a better artist. You can do the same things on the pen tablet for the fraction of the price. You just gotta get used to it. 
Second thing is ergonomics. Using a pen display makes your back and neck hurt, because you are looking down on it all day. It's huge, so you have to move your arm around quite a bit, which can cause fatigue. Here's a metaphor to think about. You don't buy Lamborghini for the ergonomics. When using a tablet on the other hand, you don't experience these things, because you are looking at the monitor with a straight spine and your arm can rest on the table while working. Third, portability. The pen tablet wins of course, because it's small, sleek, lightweight and it doesn't have any cables. So the conclusion is, in my opinion, if you are just starting out, buy a pen tablet and see how it goes. And later you can upgrade to a pen display if you want to. Oh yeah, I would recommend buying a pen tablet without keys and use a keyboard for all the shortcuts. I hope this video helped you, if you have a question, ask me in the comments. Become a patron to download this project file. Thank you Huyan for the tablets.